Our local coverage continues now with a call for change on a popular local bridge. More than 500 people have signed an online petition demanding a median barrier on the Pell Bridge. It's not a new request, but it is gathering new support after another serious head-on collision on the overpass this week. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands is in the newsroom now with more. Loved ones of a deadly head-on crash victim speak out this week after another collision on the Pell Bridge. Christmas Eve took a devastating turn for the 25-year-old man driving inside this car. He and a 75-year-old man survived a head-on collision on the Newport Pell Bridge. My family and I were devastated. Amanda Munier says she knows the history of the Pell Bridge all too well after losing her own aunt, who was also her godmother two years ago. To be able to see that that's happening again to another family, it's tragic. Her aunt, Kathleen Munier, was driving with passenger Kenneth Pryor when a teen driving another car crossed over the median and crashed into them. Since then, Munier has vowed to get the Rhode Island Bridge and Turnpike Authority to install median barriers on the bridge. She's even started gathering signatures for a petition. She says before last week's accident, there were about 300 signatures. Today, there are more than 500. The Rhode Island Transit and Bridge Authority isn't doing their job to put the barriers in place. It's long overdue and the accidents keep happening and what are they going to do about it? As we reported earlier this month, the board has been studying the pros and cons of adding a barrier to the Pell Bridge for seven years. At the recent board meeting, Chairman David Darlington told me it's not that simple. We're moving in that direction, um, but we need all of the science, all the engineering done before we actually implement a barrier. A task, Munier says, is taking too long. There's been two with two tragic injuries this past week, so I'd like them to do it as soon as possible. If the barrier is approved for installation, RIPTA officials say it could take several years before it goes up. Reporting in the newsroom, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News.